I'm excited to welcome you to the absolute best video on how JavaScript works you'll find anywhere on YouTube. In this video, I cover everything you need to know in detail and use interactive animations, beautiful illustrations, and professional editing to ensure you remain engaged in order to maximize your learning. So let's jump in. So let's start by discussing the goal of JavaScript. The ultimate goal of JavaScript is to execute actions in order to produce a specific outcome on a web page. Let's look at this on my favorite game. What JavaScript is doing on this web page is executing specific actions, that is, taking in my guess and producing an outcome on the web page. If I guess the country wrong, the outcome here is it tells me the country I guessed, how far I am, the direction, and how close I am in terms of the distance. And if I get the guess right, I get a celebration for my correct guess. So on the Wordle game, I guess a country like Egypt. This results in an update to the page content where we get our web page outcome. That is the guest country, the distance to the correct country, the direction to the correct country, and the percentage correct. So in a nutshell, JavaScript is executing actions by the user, that is me, and produces an outcome on the web page. Now, throughout this course, I'm going to be using the analogy of a juice bar to explain how JavaScript works. Back when I used to live in Australia, there was this chain of juice bars called Boost Juice. Here's what a typical store would look like. The juices were so good. My favorite was this brekkie to go go juice. It was a great breakfast for when I was on the run. It had muesli, bananas, oat milk. It was delicious. Now, one of the funniest things about these juice bars was that you'd have to give your name when you ordered, and then they'd shout out your name when the juice was ready. Anyways, I had this one friend who'd always see this as an opportunity to do something funny. His classic was he'd write down Voldemort, the bad guy from Harry Potter. When the person making the juice would shout Voldemort, he'd run up to them and say, shh, he who should not be named, take his juice and walk off. Anyways, let's go now use this analogy by exploring how JavaScript works. A script runs through the JavaScript engine, which processes it to generate the final output. A script is just a text file, and the JavaScript engine is in the browser. So looking at the juice bar analogy, we have a recipe, which are the steps you need to follow to produce the juice. Here's the recipe for the brekkie to go-go juice I like. And in terms of JavaScript, this is the JavaScript script. It's the text file, which has all the code. For the juice bar, this recipe is executed inside the kitchen. It's where the juice is made. In terms of JavaScript, the JavaScript script is executed inside the JavaScript engine, which is a part of the browser. Back to the juice bar, from the kitchen we get our complete juice. It's the final product. And in terms of JavaScript, this is now our web page outcome. That is the content we want to display or update. So let's now take a look at the script and JavaScript engine in a bit more detail. We'll start off with the script. A script contains what data and constructs are needed, as well as the steps for the JavaScript engine to process. Looking back at our recipe, first we have the ingredients. The ingredients is what we need to make the juice. In JavaScript, we would call this the data. It's the building blocks, things like numbers and text, which we call strings. In our recipe, the building blocks are things like a banana, oat milk. It's the building blocks of the juice. Whereas in JavaScript, our building blocks is data, like numbers and strings. The next element of a recipe is the equipment you need, things like knives or a blender. In JavaScript, we call these constructs. They're tools that process and modify data. An example of constructs is a simple plus sign or a JavaScript function, which we're going to be talking about in a lot more detail later. These constructs allow us to modify our data just like a knife or blender will modify ingredients by slicing them up. The final component of a recipe are the instructions. That is the steps you need to follow in order to produce the juice. In JavaScript, this is the script. It's a series of steps that uses data and constructs to produce the final outcome. In the Wordle example, where you need to guess a country, the steps would look something like this. The user would enter their guess, and the first step would be look up the coordinates of the guest country like these numbers over here. Number two, calculate the distance and percentage between guess and target country. This is now using our data and constructs. Step number three, determine the direction, again using data and constructs. And step number four would be outputting the result. Over here, we're outputting strings, like the word Egypt, and numbers, like the distance to the country. 
Now, the script in JavaScript isn't actually broken up into these three components, like it appears on a recipe. It's all contained inside a single text file, which would look something like this. Do not worry at all about any of this syntax. This would be an example of a piece of JavaScript that's calculating the distance between the inputted guess and the target country. You can see that this piece of JavaScript contains the data, constructs, and steps all within the single piece of code. For example, the number 180 over here is a piece of data we need. And in the top right, this function is an example of a construct that helps us perform this calculation. This entire piece of code we refer to as the script. So the script contains the data we need, the constructs we need, and is organized in a step-by-step -step format. This is our JavaScript script. So let's now talk about the JavaScript engine. The JavaScript engine contains the data and constructs and follows the script's instructions to produce the final output. So back in our juice bar, we have our recipe, which is equivalent to the JavaScript script. This recipe is executed inside the kitchen, where the kitchen actually has the building blocks. The different food ingredients, like bananas and apples, are inside the kitchen, as well as the equipment needed, like the blender. At the end of the day, the recipe is just text on a piece of paper. The recipe just lists what we need from the kitchen in order to produce the juice. In JavaScript terms, the data, like fruit and vegetables, and constructs, that is the tools that manipulate our data, like a blender, live inside the JavaScript engine. So the JavaScript engine contains the data and constructs, just like a kitchen contains the actual ingredients and equipment. Using the recipe and kitchen, we're able to produce our juice. And in JavaScript terms, we're able to get a web page outcome. So looking now just in JavaScript terms, we have our script, which are step-by-step -step instructions and contain the data and constructs we need to produce the final outcome. The script is executed inside the JavaScript engine, which is inside the browser. It's something behind the scenes you can't see. The JavaScript engine executes the script, and this produces the final web page outcome, where we guess a country, and the result is rendered on the web page. So let's wrap up by building a summary card how JavaScript works. We start off with our JavaScript script, which contains the data and constructs we need, as well as the step-by-step -step instructions to follow. This script is then loaded into our JavaScript engine, which lives inside the browser. The JavaScript engine executes the script and produces a web page outcome, like how far away our guess is to the target country. If you've enjoyed this style of teaching and are looking at mastering JavaScript, you can join me in my JavaScript full course, which is available for free on my channel. The course is designed for complete beginners and covers everything you need to know to code JavaScript at a professional level. In the course, you'll experience the same high quality teaching and build a whole range of real life projects from scratch. Join me today and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with new releases. See you in the JavaScript full course.